When Tesla started manufacturing underbody castings for the Model Y, um, critics pointed to the possible high cost of repair in the event of damage. However, Lars Moravian Elon Musk made it very clear during Tesla's Q2 2023 investor conference call that the underbody castings are actually easier to replace in the event of damage versus a traditional design. In this video, I want to discuss Lars and Elon's comments about underbody castings, um, discuss other automakers that are copying Tesla, and also talk about why Tesla's underbody castings are pure genius. I'm John, and this is Cleaner Watt. The Gigapress casting machines that Tesla is using to manufacture these underbody castings are made by Hydra, a company, an Italian company called Hydra. And a 6,000 ton press is used to make the Model Y underbody castings, and a 9,000 ton press will make the Cybertruck underbody castings. Of course, one of the big reasons why Tesla developed these underbody castings specifically for their vehicles comes down to how much it simplifies the manufacturing processes. I and others have talked about this slide quite a bit, but once again, I just briefly want to talk about this, how with a typical body structure design, like the Model 3, for instance, all these various pieces here, specifically they highlight in this slide, 171 pieces of metal are connected together to make the front and rear underbodies of the Model 3. However, with the Model Y and its underbody castings, 171 pieces are condensed to two castings, one for the front, one for the rear, even more significantly than the parts reduction. This move from 171 parts connected together to two different parts, this allows Tesla to eliminate a lot of the welds that are necessary. Specifically on this slide, over 1,600 fewer welds are mentioned here by Tesla with this underbody cast design. This of course greatly simplifies the manufacturing process. Now thankfully the Cybertruck once again will have these same underbody castings. And this is something that we can see here in this image that Tesla shared in their Q2 2023 conference call. And you can see there really clearly a front underbody casting for the Cybertruck. When it comes to manufacturing simplicity, moving to these underbody cast designs does obviously lead to a smaller body shop. And when it comes to specific numbers, in Tesla's Q1 2022 investor conference call, Elon Musk specifically mentioned that with a structural battery pack and front and rear castings, quote, the body shop size drops by over 60% relative to the standard way of making a car. In that same conference call, Elon Musk then went on to talk about the fact that at their Gigafactory in Berlin and in Austin, they were able to, on a per unit basis, reduce the welding robot count by 70%. Any reference as a result, the body shop of these factories is roughly three times smaller than it would normally be. So once again, moving to underbody castings is a very significant change when it comes to the efficiency of manufacturing. However, despite the manufacturing benefits, is repairability an issue with the underbody castings? Well, thankfully, this question was answered in depth once again in Tesla's most recent Q2 2023 investor conference call. And in response to a question about the repairability of the underbody castings and how um, critics were saying that it was more expensive to repair than a traditional process, Elon Musk laughingly said, that must be why everyone is copying us. I thought this comment from Elon Musk was funny because if it was such a bad idea to move to underbody castings, why would everyone be copying it? And when it comes to the companies that are planning to or are currently copying Tesla when it comes to underbody castings, this Reuters article specifically points out Toyota, General Motors, Hyundai, Volvo, Polestar, and Zeker. Beyond Elon's comments about companies copying them with the underbody casting design, um, Lars Moravi did have some great things to say in response to this question. Lars specifically said, quote, there's a misconception that traditional bodies are easy to repair, but they are made of multiple materials and multiple joining methods. Spot welds and rivets have to be drilled out. Panels and structural adhesive have to be chiseled out. Dry adhesive has to be removed. Stamping's cut blah, blah, blah. Lars went on, yeah, and so putting that back together means time and money. Using an example of replacing a rear cast rail on a Model Y 
To do that versus like what we replaced it with from the Model 3, it's 10, 10 times cheaper and three times faster to do it with the cast rail. So once again, on the repairability side, similar to when it comes to the benefits of manufacturing, on the repairability side, apparently there are huge benefits to the underbody cast design as well. 10 times cheaper and three times faster. That's a serious step change. And Tesla is invested in making repairs easier because they have their own repair shops and insurance, and they actually design parts with repairability in mind. This is something that Lars made very clear in this conference call, specifically these two points. Lars said specifically, quote, my design team works with our collision repair team since we're closed looped on this with insurance. And we design specific parts that make it easier and faster to repair. We have an incentive to do that because we have our own insurance and our own body shops. Another huge benefit of these Giga castings is that when you replace one, the one you pull out should be completely recyclable because they are manufactured with an aluminum alloy from what I understand. And specifically, Elon Musk mentioned in Tesla's Q1 2022 conference call that when it comes to making this alloy, they can actually recycle, for instance, stampings, aluminum scrap, and for instance, wheels from other vehicles that are made from aluminum. So once again, this shows the pure genius of the underbody cast design and how Tesla, the Tesla team thought this through, both on the manufacturing side and also on the repairability side. This has huge benefits on both ends and um, it's such a great design and there's no wonder that other companies are copying them on this design. But once again, Tesla is way ahead of the competition and they're at least one generation ahead of all the competitors. Tesla already has experience in putting underbody castings in the Model Y and their next generation is going to be with the Cybertruck and Tesla is constantly improving these castings as they go. For instance, when Tesla first started making castings, they started with a rear underbody, and that rear underbody was cast into two different pieces, and then they combined those two pieces together. Now, that rear underbody is made in a single cast, and they also make a front underbody for the Model Y. In Tesla's Q2 2023 conference call, Elon Musk also made comments about how with inserts, into the dies, they can actually change the casting a little bit as well. Elon Musk specifically said, quote, we are actually able to change the details of the casting with inserts, and we actually do that all the time. So because the inserts actually wear out and need to be replaced anyway, so we can actually make design changes to the inserts and tweak the castings too. So once again, Tesla is ahead of the competition and they're constantly iterating and improving their design. So even when the competition comes out with their designs, they're going to be behind Tesla when it comes to efficiency, um, et cetera. So that's important. Now I wanna mention one other benefit that Elon Musk did bring up a huge benefit to this underbody cast design. And really it's a group of benefits, but beyond the ease of manufacturing, the improvements there, beyond the um, ease of repairability that we mentioned, Elon then went on to mention more benefits of this underbody cast design. For instance, that it's lighter, cheaper, and when it comes to customer benefits, it's better when it comes to noise, vibration, and harshness. So once again, let's recap the genius of the underbody castings. On the manufacturing end, it reduces the size of the body shop. It reduces the amount of welding robots and it simplifies the process. Way fewer welds, way fewer parts. So that's a huge benefit. Yes, there's a lot of engineering time on the front to design these casts, but once you do, it makes the manufacturing much more efficient. Then when it comes to repairability, and this benefits Tesla and the consumer, Repairability is apparently easier with the underbody castings. They can be, once again, I assume, recycled as well. So there's not an issue there with extra scrap that can't be recycled. Then when it comes to uh, more customer benefits, apparently the vehicles have lower noise, vibration, and harshness. So this should result in a smoother driving vehicle with less road noise. So these are all huge benefits and really show the pure genius of the underbody cast design. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. And also I'd like to say once again, thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. 
Thank you so much.